guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if it's your first time. And if it's your first time, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now, I think by now we've all seen the accent arch all over TikTok. And I actually have an arch cutout in my entryway that I literally haven't known what to do with for years. So I figured for today's video, we would take a stab at it. So for my arch, I'm gonna be painting the back part of the arch cutout. And I'm going for almost this uh, hand-painted geometric line pattern pattern. So for this we're going to need um, two different color paints. The first is going to be the base paint which we chose an off-white color. All of the walls in my house are kind of like this like tannish creamish color so I'm hoping the white pops. And then for the blind pattern we're going to use this really pretty Sierra color and we're going to be making the pattern using a handy dandy magic eraser. So let's get started. Like with any home painting project, you're going to need your painter's tape to seal off the section you want. Next, we're going to go in with painting the background white color. Really nothing fancy here. Typically when I'm painting a wall, I like to start on the edges and then work my way in. I usually do the edging with a brush and then I'll bust out the paint roller for the center. Now that the paint is fully dry, it's time to lay down the painter's tape to serve as a guide for our geometric pattern. Essentially, I figured out how many rows of the pattern I wanted to include in this space and just divided it evenly. We used the painter's tape to create a grid and then all along while lying down the tape, we just made sure that each of the lines were level and it would keep the pattern as straight as possible. Now it's time for the fun part. So I have limited time that I can be on my feet. The goal here is to be quick and efficient. I went ahead and just added the paint into a paper plate so I could use it to dip the side of the sponge as I'm going through creating the pattern. But seriously, lying down the grid made it so much easier to follow. At this point, all you have to do is follow your grid. We're gonna use the bottom left corner as the guide. And then each square you'll alternate between horizontal lines and vertical lines. Once you kind of get the hang of it, this part goes by really, really fast. I wouldn't rush through it because you wanna make sure you're keeping your pattern consistent. So every couple squares, I would take a step back and just make sure I'm doing them in the right direction. Once you finish laying down your pattern, of course, you wanna go ahead and let that dry. I know some people usually like to give it overnight for paint to dry, but I've had bad experiences in the past with the paint sticking to the painter's tape. So I usually will just give it an hour or so and then peel up the tape and continue to let it dry. Now we can go ahead and place our drywall anchors in. The drywall anchor will secure the screw that's going to hold up our textured fiber art. Now I had every intention of filming how I made this textile art for you guys and including it as part of the video, but I really just didn't get the chance to. So if you guys are interested, leave me a comment below and I will go ahead and post it on my TikTok, which you should follow at Designed by Smashly. Here is a close-up of me installing the drywall anchor. We bought these cool shelves from Amazon. The link will be in the description below. We decided to place a coat hanging rack so that way I guess can hang whatever they need to. Thanks for hanging everything, Dan. Now it's my turn. I'm gonna go ahead and just style these shelves, make them look super cute to finish off this space. I also ended up DIYing these little mini faux books. Again, if you guys are interested, I can totally show you how I made them using a scrap piece of two by four and some contact paper. Let me know in the comment section, I'll throw it on my TikTok. You guys, honestly, who wants to come over? I feel like this just gave the entryway of the house such a nice refresh, it's so much more welcoming and I love how it came out. I don't share this with you guys often, but a lot of the times when I'm like setting up something like this, I'm visual, so I need to like draw it out. My drawings aren't the greatest, but I did want to show you guys. This one kind of came out very on point. So that was like my little design. And here's like, I love it. Let me know in the comment section how you guys think I did. Um, and if you guys are tackling any of your own uh, accent arch pieces. As always, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.